across the trains fighting for position. This is the moment we've been waiting for in the Giro d'Italia. It's about to come alive and we've got riders down. Oh, we've got big riders down. Sky riders on the floor as well. Somebody from somewhere, Mikel Lander is on the ground. He's not happy. Mikel Lander is down. And also looking further down is that Geraint Thomas, I'm not sure. Thomas was behind Lander. It looks as though the entire Sky team almost has been taken out. And that is Geraint Thomas. That is Geraint Thomas, and I'm afraid that does not look good. Thomas is down, and he may well be out. Oh, no. And what has happened? Is it someone in the road? Is it someone in the road? It's a motorbike. Salvatore Puccio in argument with a motorbike. Well, British viewers, you rejoin us with the police motorbike taking out the entire Sky team. Geraint Thomas is down. He looks very hurt, and I'm not sure he's going to carry on in this Giro d'Italia. This is how it helped. Police motorbike on the left-hand side. Oh, my word! And it's not what we wanted. Lander down as well. Lander in third wheel, he looks much less affected, but for Geraint Thomas, Sean Kelly, this does not look good. The Giro, I think, is over. Whether he carries on or not is another thing. Yes, um, not looking good at all, but uh, yeah, at least he's getting back on, on, on his feet here at the moment. But we could see there, you know, the motorbike just pulling over, everybody fighting positions, and the Sunweb rider just clipping the motorbike, just pushed into the uh, right of the road and taking out so many of the Sky Riders. Well, I was just saying that this was the moment we'd been waiting for in the Giro d'Italia. Everybody fighting for position, everybody fighting to get into the bottom of that climb. Yates also involved, I think, as well. Thomas Yates involved. In the meantime, the race is on, Sean. They can't stop, they can't wait. It's Movistar who begins.